Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about a verse from the book of James that might confuse you if you run across it when you're doing your devotionals. That's just what happened to me the other day when I read James chapter 2, verse 12. It says, so whatever you say or whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. And the reason this might be confusing for you is because you think of the law as a bad thing. But in this passage, it's saying that there's a law that can set you free. And so you might ask the question, well, wait a second, haven't Christians been set free from the requirements of the law, right? Isn't that the whole point of the gospel? Jesus came, he went to the cross, he died on the cross for our sins so that the requirements of the law could be met in Jesus and we don't have to be obedient to the law anymore. We don't have to have the burden of that anymore. Well, to answer this question, let's look at the verse in context. James 2, verse 12, whatever you say, whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. What James is probably talking about can be seen a few verses earlier in verse 8, where he said, yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scriptures. And then he lists it for you right there. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's the royal law. He's talking there about what Jesus had said in answer to the Pharisees earlier in his ministry, where Jesus said the most important rule in the rule book is to love the Lord your God and then to love your neighbor as yourself. And James is saying here that that royal law sets you free. And then later in chapter two, he said this, he said, what good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions, can that kind of faith save anyone? So you see, he says, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it's dead and useless. Now, a lot of Christians are confused by verses like this, in particular, the book of James. Some people struggle reading the book of James because they think it contradicts everything that the Apostle Paul writes about the grace that we have through Jesus Christ. We're saved by grace. And then when some people read these verses, they think, wait a second, this is contradicting the gospel message that we're saved by grace through faith. This is somehow saying that we have to do works or we have to obey the law in order to be saved. But it's actually not at all what it's saying. And let me draw this out for you so that you can understand it. When James talks about the law, he, of course, is talking about the Ten Commandments, but he's talking about so much more than that. The Jews had hundreds of commandments that came out of those first basic Ten Commandments. But let's just start with at least a few of those commandments, like don't murder and don't steal and don't lie. Jesus came to show us that we should put the law, these rules, in the context of God's greater purpose for us, which again is to love God and to love others as we love ourselves. And here's the thing that I think James is trying to get across, and Jesus often tried to get across in his ministry, that if we live according to God's purpose for us, then we can be really free. God wants to free us to love God. He doesn't want to free us to just live however we want. He wants to free us so that we can really experience life the way he intended for us to experience it. So in other words, the law isn't bad. It's just that the law was incomplete. It was a partial picture of God's greater plan and purpose and design for us. And so let's answer this question. Haven't Christians been set free from the requirements of the law? The answer is no, actually, they haven't been set free from the law. They've been set free to obey the purpose behind the law, which is to love God and to love others more. So the question for all of us that we need to really ask ourselves is, do we love people? If you're a follower of Jesus, it should mean that you love people more. It should mean that you care about the world, people in the church and people outside of the church. This is what James is getting at. And this is what James 2 verse 12 is all about.